Raiders star wide receiver Devontae Adams goes off on the latest trade rumors and the Raiders have signed a new starter on the offensive side of the football. We're going to break all this down and more like and subscribe for more content from me Wi-Fi Willie. Tom Brady is in the news again. The guy keeps on flirting with coming back and playing football. One day there's a situation, right? Maybe it's the 49ers, maybe, you know, heading to the playoffs. Offense is great. Patriots, somebody, could be somebody, somebody, Raiders. Look, could be, you never know. God forbid somebody goes down, would you pick up that phone? Tom Brady is appearing in a podcast. They're asking him a question about if he would step in if somebody went down late in the season. And what he says next is very crucial for Raiders fans. I'm not opposed to it. If they would, I don't know if they're going to let me if I become an owner in the NFL team, but I don't know if, uh, I don't know. I'm always going to be in good shape, always be able to throw the ball. So to come in for a little bit, like MJ coming back. Um, I don't know if they let me, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. I don't know if they let me, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. I don't think the guy's coming back to play football. I think that Brady does this time and time again to stay relevant, to get his name trending in the media. And that's what this has done. But he did mention the Raiders there. Obviously, the 49ers were mentioned too. But the key thing he said is he does not know if the NFL would let him come back and play if he's a minority owner of the Las Vegas Raiders. We know Mark Davis has been trying to make him a minority owner. Owner. The rest of the owners vote on this in the fall. It could be delayed, but we are expecting a decision around the fall. And based on what Tom Brady just said there, it seems like it's a lock for him to be a minority owner of the Raiders. So whether you like it or not, I personally don't like it. I personally think it's lame. I personally think it's lame for Patriots people to run the Raiders. I would much rather somebody who is from the Raiders organization, rose from the Raiders organization, being a minority owner of the Las Vegas Raiders. But Mark Davis is in love with Brady. He's been in love with him for a long time. And it seems like it's inevitable that Brady will be the minority owner of the Raiders. And this is what is going to prevent him from playing football again because you can't be an owner of a team and a player simultaneously. But I don't buy that the guy is actually trying to throw the pigskin. And because Brady has done this, look at the betting odds. All the people are placing bets, spending their hard earned dollar trying to figure out where is Brady going to go. And the Raiders at plus one. 125 the Patriots are the next team likely to be Brady's destination according to the betting market don't waste your money kids I don't think this guy is coming back speaking of the quarterback position you have a new report from Paul Gutierrez of ESPN this came out over the weekend and what we have learned is that Mark Davis has given his blessing for the Raiders to trade up and grab their franchise quarterback now I don't know how significant this is Mark Davis has always been a hands-off owner and it seems like he would let any GM or any head coach make an aggressive move in the draft if they wanted to. It's just all going to fall on them. So I don't think this changes anything. I don't think this proves that the Raiders are certainly going to trade up and draft a quarterback. I want them to do this. I want them to try to do this. And we have heard before that when Mark Davis interviewed general manager candidates, he was asking them how they would trade up in the NFL draft to grab a quarterback. So hopefully it happens. Obviously, Mark Davis would be okay with this, but I don't think this changes anything because ultimately if Tom Telesco the GM finds it too expensive I don't think the guy's gonna pull the trigger and trade up for a quarterback even if the Raiders wanted this to happen even if they were begging on their knees to a team at the top of the draft saying hey please 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 let me trade up doesn't mean it's gonna happen because they have so much competition so many teams drafting at the top like New England the Washington Commanders obviously the Bears all these teams want a franchise quarterback and then you got the Broncos and the Vikings on top of this trying to trade up and grab their franchise quarterback there's just too much competition this year maybe a miracle could happen during the draft where the Raiders trade up with the LA Chargers that is what Nick Wright of ESPN is saying his mock draft has the Raiders trading up with the Chargers at pick five we're gonna deal with Jim Harbaugh we know your point about Jim Harbaugh Colin I think is totally correct he wants as many picks as possible over these next few years when he has an intense knowledge of the players he wants offensive linemen and defensive linemen even though these teams are divisional rivals, they could scratch each other's back, according to Nick Wright. The Raiders get their franchise quarterback. The Chargers already have Justin Herbert as their franchise quarterback. And that is a good point that Jim Harbaugh, because he was the Michigan Wolverines head coach last year, likely knows this draft class very intimately. Obviously, this is a stretch, but we've seen crazier things on draft night, and I cannot wait. The Raiders waited to solidify their offensive line. They have recently 
signed former pro bowler of the Chicago Bears, Cody Whitehair. The offensive guard, Whitehair, is signed to a one-year contract of $3 million. This helps complete the Raiders' offensive line. They still need to address right tackle. They have Thayer Mumford there right now, but lost Jermaine Illuminor to the New York Giants. But now, they got Cody Whitehair, who's 31 years old, was a pro bowler in 2018, has started season after season for the Chicago Bears for the past 11 years. Unfortunately, his most recent year was his lowest PFF grade in his entire career with the 45 PFF grade. But the guy is familiar with the new offensive coordinator of the Raiders, Luke Getze, who was the Chicago Bears offensive coordinator last year. And this guy's going to start. This guy's going to play for the Raiders this year. And even though it's not the flashiest signing, this really does help complete their offensive line prior to the draft. If this move did not happen, I would have thought they would have had to reach for a guard in the draft. That's no longer the case. Devontae Adams is in the news again at a summer camp talking about the trade rumors surrounding his name. It's talking about taking out of context, misconstruing. A lot of people just assume for you that you were going to want out at some point. Like, was that, well, I guess what was in your mind? Were you ever, was there ever any fluctuation in your dedication to this franchise? I would, I would say I ever wanted to be gone. If I wanted to be gone, I'd be gone by now. So it's, I, I would not pick the company. This is, this is where I want to be. And um, obviously, if you're not winning and things are not going the way you, you want, you know, you, you either want to think, see things change to get headed in the right direction or something, something else has got to change. So That was via Heidi Fang of Vegas Nation getting a quote from Devontae Adams saying that he does not want to go anywhere, saying that if he wanted to be gone, he would be gone by now. And I understand what Devontae Adams is saying. He hasn't explicitly said ever that he wants to be traded. Obviously, the locker room has improved since Antonio Pierce has become the head coach after Josh McDaniels was fired. But Devontae Adams cannot act like this speculation about him wanting to leave the Raiders and be traded elsewhere is just coming out of people's ass. He has made comments before that has indicated that, hey, maybe a change of scenery is best. On Amber Theo Harris's podcast, he said that if you don't have the right quarterback, you have to decide if it's worth even having him on the team. Just having me run around out there and, and I'll just get double teamed or we're not scheming it the right way to get me open, then it's just going to make it harder for the quarterback to read the picture and that's when you got to figure out if it's worth having that guy you know aka me on your team because you can't make it tougher if you don't match you know my level with the, the, or the quarterback with my level so we know the jets have been trying to pursue Devonte adams but the raiders have said no and then you got Devonte adams over the offseason making comments like this if you don't have the right quarterback it might not be worth having me on the team so i understand the guy's frustration he's one of my favorite players in the nfl fresno state baby i understand that he gets exhausted by people speculating that he may want to leave the Raiders, but with him being 31 years old, trying to be a Hall of Famer, and with the Raiders not having a franchise quarterback on the roster right now, coupled with the fact that he has made comments suggesting that it might not be worth having him on the team if you don't have a franchise quarterback, all of this packed together indicates that a trade would be on the table for Devontae Adams. And don't even get me started on the fact that the Jets have been pursuing this guy. I would like to see Devontae Adams wear a lie detector test and be asked, hey Devontae, would you rather be traded to the Jets and play with Aaron Rodgers, or would you rather stay with the Raiders and play with Garnu Minshew and Aiden O'Connell? I would like to see him wear that lie detector test and see what buzzer sounds off. But look, Devontae Adams, a true pro, he's going to support the Raiders organization. He's going to give it his all. And ultimately, it's the Raiders' decision on whether or not he stays with the team or goes. And when you look at the contract that he has right now, this is really the last year where Devontae is pretty much locked in. The Raiders would eat way too much dead money if they even moved on from the guy or traded the guy. So obviously, it's worth having him on the roster this year. Unless it helps you trade up to grab your franchise quarterback. That's a different story. But take a look at this. After this year, Devontae Adams cast hit in 2025 2026 it's going to be 44 million dollars each of those years that is more expensive than a lot of quarterbacks in the nfl i do not believe the raiders are going to have Devonte adams on a 44 million dollar cap hit so they are going to need to make a decision on him after this season will they restructure bring his cap hit down keep him on the team or will they trade the guy because this is just way too fat of a number to keep on the books we're breaking down news content almost every single day we are back in action guys so make sure you subscribe to this channel so you do not miss another video from me wi-fi willie peace out and i hope you have a good one